Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We are here, man, for the final episode of Fruits Basket Season 2, which there's some sadness uh, around it, I, I gotta say, because, we're, you know, we're gonna have a gap where there's no Fruits Basket, but we do know that the final season is coming. It has been announced, which we really knew from the beginning, because when this project was first announced, they said that they were gonna, you know, do all the Fruits Basket in its entirety, so this final season announcement doesn't really come as a surprise to any of us, you know, really, which I think they did say actually it's gonna be coming Coming out sometime in 2021 we don't have an exact season or anything like that uh, yeah like what season they'll be airing in but we do know it's coming in 2021 which I have to say you know how they have spaced out these seasons has been you know really smart like because it's not too long of a break but it's you know it also gives them enough time to obviously work on the anime and, and do what they have to do so we will be seeing the final season of Fruits Basket um, you know sometime in 2021 and I'm really looking forward to that you know obviously because I feel like that's where everything is about to go down but you know, for the last time here for season two, we are here for the final episode. And it seems like, you know, with the line we had from Kurino at the very, very end, you know, for like kind of like the preview or whatever you want to say for this episode, we did hear, you know, it was Kurino's voice actor. So that usually tells you that, you know, this episode, you know, it would lead you to believe that this episode is going to be Kurino focused, which I mean, we had that little like seen in the previous episode where I was like okay I need more on that and just in general I've been saying I think we've all been saying we need more with Kurino we were saying that with Machi and we got you know some good Machi focus and, and more with her in the previous episode so I really liked that so I'm curious to see what we're going to have here with Kurino and also just how they're going to leave off this season man and if, if it's going to be like a cliffhanger for the final season or, or what it's going to be man so We'll get into it, for, you know, for the final time for this second season, at least, uh, because obviously we, like I said, we know, we know more is coming, the final season. Uh, but let's see what we have with this episode, guys. I want to get into it. We're gonna hop into it at the very beginning. I keep just saying a bunch of things. Get into it. Hop into it. Whatever. We're at the very beginning. Zero seconds, and we're gonna get started in three, two, one. What? Some kind of like a thread here, something. Came abruptly, the end and the beginning. Yeah, so they are gonna go more into this, man. There's liberation and a curse. And you see, like, Colonel's like, okay. Okay, man. What, like, what is behind this? Or what? Because Colonel's crying, and then Akito looks like you know, despair, shock, or, or something, right? Like, so. And if Kurno's crying like that, whatever, they're probably going to, I feel like what they're going to do is they're going to show actually what happens or leads up to that, where Kurno's like crying like that maybe, I guess, is what they're going to do. Because we don't know what's like really behind it. Just seeing Kurno crying though, I'm just like, ah, like, but whatever they're going to show probably that leads up to that is, and then when we see that again, because I'm, that's what I'm assuming we'll see that again. That's where it's really going to probably hit me, depending on how this all plays out or what it is. But yeah, they are going to go more into this to leave off the season. Which, you know, we've been wanting more Kurino. Because a lot of him, when you really think about it, we, we've got little bits here and there, but really, we don't know shit about Kurino or with Kurino. You could even say the same for Akito in, in a lot of ways. So I guess the two of them kind of tie together with that. This is this is gonna be big then. This is gonna be big then. A big episode to leave off the season. If we're gonna get more with Akito and Kurono. I was like saying, yeah, there's like a thread, like they're like literally snapped in half. Is that like representing the, the curse, right? Or in a way. I think I've talked about this as well. Like, Kurno's the one who's, like, seemed, like, the closest. Like, really the closest compared to anybody else. To Akito. What is she really thinking or what it It's like these bland like expressions on their on his face though, you know man? Like he's gonna 
whatever it is is deep like why he's even still by her side or his side see i always do that just instinctively <laughs> i can't help it man like the voice actor voice actress the look like i've done that many times throughout this <laughs> season <laughs> Too happy admitting you're like an idiot. <laughs> Too happy being an idiot. Not if it were horror, though. <laughs> you hear, like, the horse, like, trotting in the background. <laughs> Uh-oh. I mean, it's, like, pretty obvious. Like, you know, obviously to us, we know, but it's, like, Yeah. It's not gonna stay like that. I refuse I refuse to believe, you know? Like I refuse. Ah oh, damn. He did though. He did do a good job. Yeah, the DVD with Kurano and then just what Akito said to Yuki after whack or you know whacking him like that like he will that's just how it has to go that you a chance feelings will reach him yep I almost forgot she was they were standing here. <laughs> Honestly, like they, how they went to that like that Yuki that Yuki scene though and Momoji was like Yuki definitely uh did a good job. And I like how they showed that scene before too from before too. Like how much better he's getting at like handling this kind of stuff. How much stronger he's got. It's a testament to that. So like possessive, so possessive. And you're the one who chose Kurano. Like, he calling her, him, calling him a hypocrite. In a way, I guess. Felt something off with Kurano.
might be might be what Is he saying broken from freed from the curse? Is that what he was about to say or that's what he was thinking? If anyone was to figure out or know or have a the best idea on what's going on with Curdle, I guess it would be Shigre. But Shigre, I guess, kind of knows, I guess, or or. Has an idea on what's really going on with Kurno. Yeah. Oh, you oh chan. Is that again? Now, the Akito saying like you're so lucky, Colonel, like you're able to fly freely, but he's really not able to do that. Like, he feels like he's restricted or, like, shackled. Yeah, like. Man was so flustered and so surprised he dropped his book. Like, she great. Might already have an idea. That's what it seemed like, right? This, these timings, these timings, see, they cut, they cut, or did he just hang up, like, wow, they would just, it has to be that he's already, like, freed from the curse or something, if that's what the thread, you know, what we saw at the very beginning of the episode represents, like, if that's what it is, like, just straight up, dude, that timing, though, like, of course they cut it out, too. Oh, look, look who's right here, Kurano.
It just comes with those jealous uh, tendencies, those possessive, almost like Yandere, like you know, how Akito is. So why would that happen, or why? He is freed. Yeah, I think he's freed from the cursor. It doesn't. He's embracing Toru. Yo. Just like they, that bland, like. Just like, like nothingness. Like, I don't even know how to really describe it. It's just... Verse has already been broken. Man. This might be a lead, I guess you could say, on finding out a way to break it. I guess Colonel would be our biggest kind of lead on that, maybe, if we can figure out more of this or something. That it was, what did he say? It was liberation and, what, what, uh, what did he say again? It, you guys know what I'm talking about, but he said that. And yeah, I was about to say that too. Still, even with that, with the curse being broken, like, he stays by Akito's side. Even if they were minor instances you're talking about here, Colonel, the impact that they had on you, like, you cannot deny that. Uh, like, yeah, like, the man's crying while saying this. Like... Uh, damn, dude, this p the piano, dude, the music, like, let it all out, my boy. As my own person.
Dude, it's so... It's, like, so twisted. It's just, like... What the hell? Oh, the curse. Here's the thing with Yuki, okay. Wow, dude. So I was talking about like that po the, the possessiveness. Like w when someone's p pouring their heart out to you like this, like, wh like what? Especially someone like Kurno, or just I guess could apply to any of them in general. Like, what are you supposed to do? But for Kurno to get that part of Akito, which we haven't really saw that part of Akito, it's just like. Wow, man. Even still. This is too good of a too good of a boy, man. He's just he's just that's the kind of person he is, like Like he's a, going back and forth thinking like, okay, sh should I, I can't like, he just keeps going back and forth. Like, yo, do you see that visual? Weaker than anyone, more fragile than anyone. Uh, see how, I, oh my god, man. How ironic, though, right? Because, like, <laughs> there's been so many times throughout this where I'm like, she. It's just like kind of an instant kind of thing where I'm like, Akito, girl, like, she, the voice act actress. Like, dude, look at that. I mean, it makes sense. It's it's fitting. Like if if like if they wouldn't have said anything, or we saw or heard, you know heard Akito referred to as he, or y'all were saying like, it, it, like for me calling Akito she as many I don't even know how many times I've done it, but it's just kind of been instinctively like, because when I see Akito, hear Akito, I'm just like, even the first time I think I heard or saw Akito, I was like, oh, that's a girl, like. So, like, how ironic is... I can only imagine, though, reading the manga, dude, without voice actresses and with, like, you know, I feel like that was probably a whole different kind of thing. 
But with Akito being a girl, it makes sense. Especially how she is. Now I can actually say that, I guess. Because, <laughs> you know, I've done that just instinctively. Like, just not even really putting much thought into it. And then y'all are like, forget, you got to remember that Akito is a dude. Because I'm, like... But it, I was, I guess I was right the whole time, even going with my instinct, like it's, but didn't know, obviously, that Akito was a, I, but so that doesn't even really, like, it's kind of a surprise, but I, I guess it doesn't really come as, as much as a surprise because of just what has been there in the anime, you know, it's just like the look, the voice actress, and I guess how Akito is with the male members of the Zodiac, um, you know, makes a lot more sense now how she's uh, a lot more like possessive and 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 doesn't you know, want you know doesn't want to let them go even more so like the male ones like Shigure like Kurano like you know Hattori and you know Yuki and Haru like you can go through uh, through them and when you you know, if you really go back and look through the you know the scenes throughout Fruits Basket and that makes sense why Toru is such a enemy or however you'd want to say to Akito because Toru's coming in you know with these guys so it's just a big I guess obviously there's the whole thing with the god and with the curse and the bonds and all that but I mean Akito is a girl Akito is a girl so obviously there's like jealous yeah you know, I guess you could say jealousy you know possessiveness there's a lot of things there um so it makes sense you know Rin even you could throw in there like Toru like I guess Akito has saw you know some of these female characters coming in with the with the with her boys or whatever you want to however you want to put it and you know even with the curse there too it's just like a double whammy almost yeah you know, right like how akito sees some of these other girls but yeah just the way akito has been with you know a lot of the the male zodiac characters it makes a lot of sense but um that kernel reveal i was just kind of like to how toru was like i couldn't even say anything man like Kind of like how Toru was just sitting there right in front of him, taking it all in, like ah, like not even really sure how to process it. Like Toru's just breaking down, crying, like just I guess taking it all in or trying to take it all in. That was kind of me. I'm just like I didn't even really know what to say. I'm just kind of like in awe. Like you, I guess you can relate Toru in in in, in from this episode. Like you can relate Kurono and Toru in 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 a lot of ways. You know, honestly, um, like. Really, I don't know if you would say almost that like Kurno's kind of like the male version of Toru. Like you could almost, I guess you could almost say that, um, you know, from what's going on here. And it makes me think of of the story, you know, the 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 traveler in Momoji's story, and and how literally Kurno and and Toru are that are that traveler. That's you know, if you guys remember the, you guys have to remember the the you know the story, um, you know, with Momoji and all that, like the Momoji story. That is literally what I, another thing that I think of too with Kurino and Toru, and you know it just makes sense that um, you know Kurino comes to Toru and talks to Toru about this or opens up to Toru about this, man. Um, but that that you know Yuo Chan, you know he he kept going back and forth like in in his in his mind, you know like I he, he was taking account into what Shigure was saying to him thinking like maybe okay i should leave akito or like you know th i guess maybe just thinking of the possibilities of what it would be like leaving akito but then he goes back i can't like there's just so much there like the flipping back and forth though like him saying i'm never gonna see you know yuo chan again like those are just insignificant things like they'll they'll wither away with time and then he's like i do want to see her and the, dude the piano the music that they played over that and just you know aesthetically in the in the in the direction in the in the shot there that was that was beautiful man and he, you know his all oh, the voice acting man that's one of the best things about fruits fruits basket is, is the voice acting so honestly i would say like the akito thing is big obviously with the reveal with akito but i say the kurino reveal reveal comes as to more of a surprise to me to be honest um than the akito stuff because i, I mean like <laughs> I feel like it would be way different if I was reading the manga, you know? And I feel like that maybe a lot of you guys can agree or maybe you guys can speak on that. Like, reading the manga compared to the anime, you know, when you have voice acting and it, it's just there's some things that are different, obviously. I think it's easier to maybe tell or, I guess, predict or guess that Akito is a girl, you know? Because, like, there's been so many instances throughout 
Fruits Basket as a whole, where I'm just instinctively just looking at and hearing Akito just said she, 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 she. You guys know. If you guys have been watching my reaction, you guys have probably known how many times I've done it. And then I got to correct myself. I'm like, I forget, you know, it's just my instinct. But Akito is a boy. Got to remind myself. But then it really turns out Akito was a girl. So it's just like, damn, like I, I was actually right, even though I wasn't meaning to do that. It's just, oh, man. That's a way to leave off a season, though, dude, with something like that. You know, like, damn, dude, that is definitely a, a, a way to leave off a season. I don't know what else to say, really, besides that, but big Kurno reveal, big Akito reveal, obviously, two characters that, obviously, we like I've been saying, we really, when you really break it down, like, really don't know shit about them, but now we definitely know a bit more. That's for, that's for dang sure. So, Kurno, just the... You know, it takes a lot. They, you know, that has to take a lot, um, you know, for him. And like I was saying, he was talking about being set free, you know, as a, you know, as a human and, and just all that. But really, when you think about it, he's like, he's not. He's still kind of shackled or just, you know, I guess restricted or whatever you'd want to say, you know, being, I guess, being by Akito's side by this, right? He's not really being allowed to, you know, f fly, uh, fly freely, excuse me. So, it's just uh, it's complicated. It's twisted. There's a lot to that. To that, obviously, but I mean, Kurno is just. I think I said it since Kurno was introduced. Like he needs to be protected. Obviously, you know, I I'm still f obviously for. I gotta see. I think we will see him in Uo Chan. But I'm just really curious, honestly, like how the, this that's all gonna play out in the final season, man. How a lot of these things are gonna play out. There's so many, I guess, plot points or things. With you know, I, I, what obviously what it comes down to is breaking the curse. That's the biggest thing. But I mean, just a lot. You know, Kurno and Yuochan, um, Rin and Haru. I mean, you could say Yuki and and Machi. Like, there's just like a lot of these things that still have to be wrapped up, obviously, and that we still have to get into. So I, I sh the final season, it's all about to go down. Obviously, the big thing is gonna be breaking the curse, which. I was saying maybe we'd have a lead here with Kurino and actually finding out a way on how to break it or how to go about breaking it. Obviously, it has to do something with Akito, but I feel like maybe I've I think I've had this I've talked about this before, kind of like my theory with it or you know on breaking the curse is it has to come down to I feel like Akito coming to fully understand like you know human emotions or something revolving around that like because I Akito doesn't really understand so. It's going to be way deeper than that. It's probably going to be way more than that, and I'm probably wrong, but I feel like that's maybe a basis or, like, a foundation for what it may be, like, breaking the curse. But I don't know. Even Kurono doesn't know, so it's just, like, I thought maybe that would be a lead, and maybe it could be used as a lead, potentially, to break the curse in the future for the final season, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see, man. But uh, th this definitely a way to leave off a season. You got the Kurono reveal, Akito, and, and even those scenes like before that, like with with Momiji and Toru and and Toru and uh, Yuki, I, I really like that as well. But really, this was obviously Kurino centric, Akito centric, and that's a big way to lead into the to, into the final season with with something like this. That's that's for damn sure. So, yeah, man, uh, this season though, like I think I gave, I, I said obviously I had high praises and lots of love for the first season. I definitely enjoyed this second season even more so than the first season. That's saying a lot. And I feel like potentially I could even enjoy the third season more than this second season because of just everything that's going to come out and everything that's you know, potentially going to happen and, and play out in the, in the last season. So, I mean, man, I, if you guys have watched my reactions, you guys know how I feel about Fruits Basket and, and you know, in this second season, especially as a whole, there's been so many, I love, but one of the biggest things obviously has been like the Yuki progression and Yuki has got a lot of focus, a lot of shine uh, this season, which I have loved that. And, you know, the student console, Kakuru, Machi, just Yuki's uh, growth has been a vital, a key part of, of this second season, that's for sure. But we've had a lot of other things as well. You know, don't get me wrong. We have had a lot of other things, and I, I feel like, like I said, I feel like this season definitely stronger than the first season. Um, I think I gave the first season like a nine out of ten. So honestly, I don't know. Like maybe nine point five is like a cop out or a cheap way. But if I wasn't gonna say nine point five, I enjoyed this more than and like this more, and I feel like this is definitely better, even from a writing perspective, than the first season in in the progression. So I would say what ten out of ten. Yeah, I'm, if I gave it a nine point five, people would say like that's probably like a cop out or something. So honestly, that that would that would be what I and I feel like 
man, if this was like a 10 out of 10 season, then the third season, <laughs> bro, could potentially be like 11 out of 10, 12 out of 10. I don't, who, who knows, right? We, we'd, be, we'd be breaking some rules there with that. I don't know, man. Um, like, I don't know what else to say besides that this is a way to leave off a season. That, that's for sure. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of all this. This is something definitely to sit on and, and you know, look. It's, it's deep, dude. There's a lot here. It, it's it's complicated. It's twisted. It's just there, there's a lot to it. I like this is something I, I'm gonna probably rewatch the season anyway before the third season comes, whenever it comes in 2021. But you know this episode in particular, and some of these episodes, like definitely rewatch a lot of rewatch value there. Fruit Basket just has that in general. If you want to put yourself through that again, but I feel like this is definitely something in the next couple couple of days, or maybe I'll just be on the Reddit thread or something like reading more into this and, and seeing this kind of broke down more so I, I would say but a lot of this just left me in awe honestly with with current o especially um and you know him breaking down and just because we just saw so many mixes and uh, of emotions from him like the blank you know the blandness the emptiness it seems like then him breaking down and crying like that it's just like there's there's a, there's a lot behind it with with him with akito obviously with a lot of our characters but finally we're kind of opening up more with that and, and shedding more light on Akito and, and with Kurono. So I, I feel like now kind of everyone has been, I don't want to say everyone's been fully addressed, but I, I, we've, we've kind of got everything in almost everything with everyone. And now moving into the final season, there's probably still obviously more big reveals or big things with some of our characters, but going to the final season, breaking the curse, that's going to be the big thing. So We'll see, man. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this finale. Let me know what you guys thought of Fruits Basket Season 2 as a whole uh, as well. I know I kind of rambled a lot here at the end, but a lot to talk about. A lot going on, obviously, and it's all going to – it's all gonna the, the floodgates are going to open with, with the final season, I feel like. That's for dang sure. So I hope you guys did enjoy my reaction to this finale and my reactions to the second season of Fruits Basket. Until 2021 for the final season, I'll see you guys. Peace.